Hello everyone, Brett back out to do scale modeling, another spur review. Great Wall Hobby has decided to release their amazing F15E kit with some special expeditionary eagle paint schemes. 148 scale, this is S4816. F15E has been hard to get from Great Wall for a while, so this is a nice thing. This one looks to be going for around ninety to a hundred dollars depending where you get it from I love the F15 and I'm going to enjoy this so let's take a look here we have one, two, a whole bunch a whole bunch more and engines, full detailed engines pylons Intakes, clear parts, wings, fuselage halves, top of the wing, conformal fuel tanks, a box we'll open and surprise ourselves, PE, some little cool card in there, decals, instructions. Ah. Stencil guide. Which, if you wanted to, you could frame it. Stencil guide to color call out. Four, what, three or six? Three. Okay. The box didn't really have anything on it except decal schemes. So, let us start. Oh man, they're doing the Tammy thing. Let's start with some wings, shall we? These are the upper wings, tail planes, rudders, pylons, one piece pylons. And again, Gray Wall Hobby's beautiful panel line and rivet detail. Wonderful plastic. These are one piece, one piece, one piece tails, one piece pylons. Gray Wall Hobby knows how to take care of us. You see the beautiful tail detail, wonderful detail on the pylons, probably a bunch of decals for them too. Top of the wings, you can tell the shape is different from a standard A because of the conformal fuel tanks. Control surfaces, flaps, ailerons, flapperons, lots and lots of pylons. Looking good there. Let's continue with the theme of wings. <clears throat> All right. The rest of the conformal fuel tanks in the bottom of the wings, the speed brake, back of the cockpit. I got the elevators. Yep. Inside of the landing gear doors. So your underside of your speed brake has no ejector pin marks. Yes, it does. It's got one, two, three, four, five. Hopefully there's something going in there for detail. However, the gear doors, no ejector pin marks. Just nice rivet detail. These ejector pins are all smooth. I'd still maybe want to touch them up or definitely test fit. Okay, one piece elevators with again raised recessed detail both sides. There's your other side, and then your bottom wings with your conformal fuel tanks. Speed brakes, ending your doors, back part of the cockpit. Very nice detail right there, all around. Looking good there. So much. Let's look at these intakes. Lots and lots of plastic. So. There are many, many ejector pin marks inside those. 
So once you determine if you're going to be able to see inside those, you're going to have to clean them up. But they are full length intakes. Okay, we're going to look at some engines next. Looks like some good slide rolling detail. Now most of this base kit is from 2013, 2014. Really nice engine detail. Your open compressor blades, afterburner ring, slide molding all around. These are matching sprues, so we don't need to look at both of them. But you can see your open compressor blade. Very nice detail there. Put all four of those together. So, matching sprues. Okay, let's go with this one, which is going to have some fuselage hats. And two different nose cones. So I'm assuming like interior detail for the front landing gear door, your combing for your cockpit, instrument panels, your whole radio bays are open on both sides, there's for your, your um, canopy, radar dish, like I said two different nose cones depending on if you can build two versions or not, whichever version you want to build. Very fine detail all around. Check out that radio bay detail. So you're just going to slide in the rest of the fuselage very nice. There's your door panels. There's your interior sides for your front landing gear bay. Here's your very detailed radar dish. Inside there are those are supposed to be there, so there's no ejector pin marks inside those doors or the back of the radar or the back of this bulkhead. Again, you'll be able to pose your nose cone, whichever one you're choosing to use. And instrument panel. Here's one for one version. There's two more. So, that looks good. And we got one more big screw. This one also has conformal fuel tanks on it and another back for behind the canopy. Another staple. Cockpit tub. Again, the detail is outstanding. There's weight on wheels, a bunch of small parts, I like how that looks. That looks, cockpit tub looks really good. And I may have reviewed this same kit many, many times, actually it would have been once before, but it was a long time ago if I did. There's your weight on wheels, your conformal fuel tanks, with again, beautifully recessed detail. Inside these doors, again, landing gear doors, no ejector pins. These are both one piece, these are all one piece. Your rester hook. Under rester hook, 
Yep, raster hook. And again, very good detail on the wheels. And there is weight on wheels. See all the detail all the way around. All those mounting points. Such a good job. Okay, now we're going to get some these smaller bags. Just got more engine and control surface parts. Okay, two more wheels. These have the bulge in them too. Pylons, front wheels, landing gear legs. You know, you look at it, this side has no burring on it, but this side right here is going to need some cleanup. Nothing major. Same with the main gear legs. Nothing major. A little cleanup. No problem. One piece pylon. Various other parts. This one. Nozzle parts. Second stage compressor it looks like. And some more control surfaces. <clears throat> These ones with strengthening plates. Slide molded. Looking good. And this one has got two matching screws. So two matching screws. These are going to go in your intakes. These are going to go in your intakes. And these look like they're going to go on the edge, of the front edge of the wings, maybe. Or maybe they're part of the intake on the side of the fuselage. Either way, the detail's great. You can see the venting, and the rivets. Looking really nice. Alright, like I said, two of those. And this bag's got three screws in it. Looks like these are going to be possibly landing gear bay parts, another combing, <clears throat> some more instrument panels. These are more updated, so these are more like the E instrument panels. More landing gear legs, sides of the cockpit, front wheels again, between the two cockpits. So first, you've got your digital screen instrument panels, your combing, your other landing gear legs, which, again, it's still got the, the burring you're going to need to clean up there. Let's see, where did I put those other ones? So... Yep, yeah, those are compressed for weight on them. But these ones are not compressed on this sprue. So there's a difference between right there. We've got compressed and not compressed. And again, really nice detail on the cockpit walls, the combings. And then this other two are matching another pylon looks like the center pylon <clears throat> and looks like your throttle sticks something was here but is not now good detail on the pylons of course and looks like I said two of those and we got one great big bag with the underside of the fuselage, lots of other parts. So, start 
That's the underside of the fuselage. Good detail landing gear bay. Blah, 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 blah. Lots of great detail in this whole kit. All around the sides, both sides, underneath. It's just going to look really good. And then you've got two fuel tanks with raised detail as they would and recess for the access panel. So two of those and one of these which is a GBU 31. And one of these, a AQ14. And it's, I'm assuming it's pylon. And it's two end pieces. And a AQ13. <clears throat> and A N A A Q thirty three. And this bag that is included with that. has your two ejector seats with some very nice detail and then this one's got another arrestor hook and it looks like the strut to hold up the speed brake and then the part to put the fuselage halves together Okay. Okay, I think we're done. No, we're not. These are the GBU 38s. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. <clears throat> okay, we got clear parts, we got the box. Let's do the box. The box has some of their now famous slide molded missiles. Sparrow. Sidewinder, AIM-12, AIM-120, AIM-9X. But there's only one of each. But, as we all know from Great Wall Hobby's beautiful slide molding weapons, open exhaust, surprise there's only one of each. <clears throat> okay. Let's go to decals and photo etch. So you've got it looks like some antennas, flame holders. So you got two small pieces of photo etch. And you got this little card talking about the specifications of the aircraft. Freeze it if you like. And then a really nice display card. You've got one with stencils and some insignia and refueling area. And you've got another. <clears throat> These are for your weapons, 
rear front cockpit, rear cockpit, outboard weapon row, inboard weapon pylon, ejector seat, nicely labeled, made in China. And you've got all of your various, also made in China, these are the various uh, marking options. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven marking options, maybe. Different tail ones. All looking good. And there's a little, you can see, between the lettering, between the numbering, carrier film. But, nothing to cry to your mama about. Okay. Get all these safely. Back in this bag. Maybe we'll do it later. And clear parts, which we have one. Taking the staple out of this so I don't scratch them. There is a slight center seam on both. They look beautifully clear with no distortion. So there you go. I'll put these back in my now staple free bag. And we shall do some instructions. So You can cut that off and frame it if you'd like. The instructions go this way. There is your sprue map. Black is what you're not going to use. Like I said, only one sparrow and one side winder each. There, paint call outs on the back. All right, <clears throat> so we are going to start this with the ejector seat. It's giving you your pain call out numbers, ACES 2 ejection seat. Then you work on the cockpit, color call outs are there, there's a nice picture. There's your decals going in. Base instrument panel flat black. More of the cockpit. Auto controls, sidewalls, there's your front screen. Again, gauges paint into flak black. Your front of your fuselage, <clears throat> nose cones, it's showing UC38 nose cone. Open or closed, your choice. It is not telling you anywhere about nose weight, it looks like. Yes, it is right there. It's not telling you an amount, but it's telling you to put some in there and there. So it wants you to put some in here in front of the cockpit and in this opening there. Okay. Here are your intakes. Like I said, they're going to be cleaned out if you can think you can see in them or you can see in them. Putting your wings to your lower fuselage. Cutting the part off. There goes your intakes, however you're going to position them, because you can position them up or down. And your engines, which look very nice. I do not see that you have a panel opening for them. There's more PE going on. There's your choice of whichever one you're going to use. Engines going in. <clears throat> so, if you want to display them, you're going to have to look at online for how the panels open. 
Or I suppose you could just leave one out and sit beside it. There's not a stand, it doesn't look like. Canopy opener closed, your choice. Speed brake opener closed, your choice. And it does not look like you're putting anything in the speed brake, so you have to clear up all those ejector pin marks that I showed you. Tails, elevators, look like chutes or chute housings. Front landing gear, which you can do after painting. Same with the main landing gear. And there we go. You can have it with doors closed. If you don't want to put the gear on, you want it in flight. Nice touch. Radar maintenance canopy assembly. You can have open or closed. There's a picture of it. For painting reference. Here, you can formal fuel tanks going on. <clears throat> your inboard wing pylons, your fuel tanks, your one aim and your 120 or aim 9. One goes on one side of the fuel tank, one goes on the other side of the fuel tank. AQs, sniper pods, GBUs, center pylon. Weapons assembly, where you're going to be putting them on the aircraft. And then your outboard decals, your outboard's weapons row, 610 gallon fuel tank. There's your color markings for your weapons and your decal placement. And your color placement where your armament's going to go. Okay. Then there's scheme number one, Eris, 319 91st Fighter Squadron. And here's number two, the Guardian, Commander's Aircraft, 391st Fighter Squadron, same squadron, different aircraft. And then it's showing you placement of stencils. And then there. So it's only showing you Looks like two schemes. So you're going to have to use this to decide the other three. So there's five schemes. 449, 494th Fire Squadron, Ravage, Lady Liberty, 494th Commander's Aircraft, 494th, 204 D ounce. There you go. This one's got the little Mustang decal. I like that. So, there you have it. Great Wall Hobby's newest release of the F-15E kit. Special decal schemes for Expeditionary Eagles. Looks like a good, complex, fun build. It's a beautiful aircraft. I say get it. I say build it. I say put your ass in the seat and build it. I say do it now. Thanks for watching.